I met a few like Korean people and they could speak English, but it was very, let's say it was okay. So I was asking like, how did you learn English? And they say like, I was watching some TV program or was watching some drama. Actually, I don't know anything about it, how they study English except from by themselves. Some of them have a really bad accent because they never talk to a real American person or real like British person or American native speaker. Mm, I've talked to one Korean person and he told me that they had English at school but it was not really advanced so they basically just learned the basics. Well, usually German people study English in school. Nowadays people are starting even from first grade but when I was in school I started from third grade and then we learn everything and we even learn how to write like articles and so on so our level of English is not native but like we can understand newspaper articles. Uh, we have one section because American English and British English they have like different words for example uh, I forgot which one is which but for example elevator and lift so we study something like that like this is British English and this is like American English. Um, we learn it at school and usually start at the age of about um, eight or nine. So we start in grade in, in third grade. I don't know if it's still like that, but it was like that when I was at school. I started to learn it in third grade, but nowadays, now that my nephew is in school, who's seven years old, um, they start in first grade, like six years old. And I personally started also at first grade because I was taking an extra class just uh, for people who are interested. Wait, sorry, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 years. Talking or speaking grades are really important because it's like 50-50. You, you write tests, they count like 50% and you talk in class and this talking counts 50%. So everybody wants to do well, of course. <laughs> it's because we have English lessons once or twice a week. They, they really teach us all the grammar and we learn a lot of vocabularies and we learn how to write essays. Personally, what helped me learn English was that after school I was taking a gap year and I went to New Zealand. Uh, traveling helped me personally a lot because in school you learn all the necessary stuff like grammar and vocabularies but um, the actual really most helpful stuff was talking to native English speakers and people in general from different countries who are learning and studying English as well. So traveling was really helpful and also social media because you could meet friends from like the other side of the world who were speaking English natively. Yeah, of course, talk to other people, meet people. You need to talk to people to improve your skill. Hmm. I think the most important thing about speaking English well is to um, listen to native speakers because it's, it's important to, um, to, to hear how they pronounce the words. It's important to hear how they use specific phrases, how they use grammar. Also important to just hear how they speak when, when they just talk to their friends, for example. I think it's really important to exchange yourself with different people from different countries and this can happen through having friends who are native speakers, traveling or going on social media or watching movies and TV shows with subtitles in your native language. Yeah, that really helps just listening to them, trying to emulate them, maybe even their accent. Yeah, it really helps shaping how you talk. Oh, I definitely do think it, it helps because you're actually able to talk to people who are native speakers and who come from countries that um, speak English. So I think it definitely helps, yeah. In my opinion, that would really help. Uh, to have an app like this because 
um, yeah, it makes the process of meeting native speakers a lot easier. And as I said before, it's just the most helpful thing to talk to native speakers to learn English yourself. Cambly is one-to-one lesson. My name is Natalie. Never boring. There are only native speakers on this application. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. And you? I'm doing great, thank you. I am Mary Lou. I am from America, in Chicago, Illinois. And do Asian people usually use this application to like uh, study English? It's a lot of people from everywhere. So you, you get a lot of uh, people from everywhere, not just Asia, the language. Mm, so so uh, what was their problem? How did they do? Did they do well or? Did they have some like really big issues and you helped them to fix them? <laughs> uh, most of them like to conversate. So we do conversations. Um, others sometimes like to do lessons. Now the lessons that we do do uh, can sometimes consist of them reading uh, and then we go over the readings and uh, ask questions in regards to the lesson and they can express themselves uh, or give their opinions about certain lessons. And they try oh, to do that by using the English language as best as they can. Because <laughs> I'm not, I know like I do YouTube and I'm always sitting in front of a camera and so on, but I'm so shy at video calls and so on, and talking even to my friends. So actually, but this was kind of funny. It felt just a normal conversation, like you meet a new person on street and you're just talking to this is a, this is a really comfortable very comfortable because you don't need to go outside you just like can sit at home and study because like it takes time to go somewhere for example or to meet somebody but this one is really like easy to to do and to uh, improve yourself and this is so great that you can choose uh, people from countries like for example she was from Chicago I think so from America but then you have like Australian people or so on, which have another accent. So if you want to learn like another accent, you can just comfortably choose anybody else. And this is so nice to learn it from the native people in the world. There are a lot of native speakers uh, who speak English in many countries because their English is like the number one language in the world. At any time, just choose somebody and call somebody. This is really comfortable because actually I don't know like the time difference between every country in the world so actually I would just pick anybody to study now but it's good that they are available like the whole day so even you can study like at 3 a.m. it was very comfortable so this is really comfortable but it's, yeah it was really funny I liked it I think I will like do it later again with somebody else <laughs>